Okay, welcome. Now, uh, guys, you are watching this video because you are feeling like help. So this is what we've called the link. And I'm going to do a series of videos. This is the first one in this link. For those of you that are maybe in Spanish 1 right now or are just getting started. Uh, but I'm more thinking of people that are in it and are starting to think, I'm not getting this. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Uh, there seems to be Spanish on all the walls. And I kind of don't feel like I have a footing. And I want you to come to these videos and start to watch them and do what's in the video. This is the game changer. You need to start to do these steps one by one. Watch video one, video two, video three. Um, stick with these videos until you've got them. And then you should have a footing. Now here's the thing I want to start with. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a couple words to learn in this video. A couple phrases. Um, and you're going to have to become disciplined. You're going to have to pause the video. Practice the words. Write them down. Start the video again. Rewatch the video. Okay? It's going to take some discipline now. But if you're watching this video, now's the time. Before we look at those words, I just want to cast some vision for you and encourage you. I've drawn a piggy bank, uh, maybe badly, but I want you to think of language and you're learning Spanish. Forget about yesterday. Just think about it like this for now. Like a piggy bank. Every word you learn now is like something going into the piggy bank. If you really learn it, it will stay there. It will be with you. Now, if you come into class one day and you only learn that day one word, don't be discouraged, but make sure you really bank it. Take your word. Take your phrase and bank it. If you put in one penny a day, it adds up. If you put in a quarter, a dollar bill, one day you learn something really important. It's like putting in a dollar bill. The important thing is, though, that you keep it in here. If there was a, if there was a leak, a break in your piggy bank, and you put a coin in here, but it was falling out down here, that's no good. You need to start to make an effort to learn and retain things so that it starts to build up. Okay? Today, this video, very easy. I'm going to give you three phrases to learn. Okay? And I want you to learn them well. Don't half learn them. Don't kind of remember how they sound. Learn them in written, learn them in spoken, okay? Very easy. Me llamo, and then put your name right there. For me, Mr. Walker. Me llamo, Mr. Walker. Me llamo, not me, me llamo. This sounds like a Y. This means my name is, okay, or I am called, strictly speaking, but my name is that. So make it your goal today to learn this once forevermore, okay? Me llamo, there, and that's how a double L sounds in Spanish all the time, okay? So that's the first thing. Second thing. I want you to say, uh, ask the question to a friend, what is your name? Because you've just learned how to say, my name is, now, what is your name? They put an upside down question mark at the beginning and the normal question mark at the end of questions. So, como, with an accent on that O, te llamas, again, sounds like a Y. Como te llamas means what is your name? Como te llamas? 
Now learn this perfectly today. Get this in your piggy bank. When you're asking this question, it has an upside down question mark, any question. This has an accent on the L. Accents in Spanish always go from the bottom up like that, think of an arrow. Como on the first L. Te llamas. What is your name? Practice it 10, 15 times today. Practice it on real people. Write it out, okay? Thirdly, I want you to say, I live in, and then name your city. For example, we're in Durham. Yo, I, vivo, vivo, en, and then your city. Here, Durham. That means, I live in Durham. Yo vivo en Durham. Now, today, to really get your rescue mission going, learn these three. Okay, learn them perfectly. Write them. Say them. Write them. Watch the video again before you go to bed. Get these three things in your piggy bank. And when you do, get on to the next video. Okay? Let's leave it there.